All right, a little bit off trail. I see uh, Fish Hatchery Lake coming into view. I hear some people down there. Sound like they're hooting and hollering, so maybe there's some fish in this lake. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if there's fish in here at all, ever, anywhere. No, nah, just kidding. I'm just not having a good fish day for some reason. Pretty lake, though. All right, we've arrived at Fish Hatchery Lake. And I'm telling you what, every one of these lakes has just been given a fantastic view. Just incredible. Incredible scenery. Well, I see some fish turning. So maybe they'll turn on to my allure. Well, we have to wait and see. Yep, that big, big boy just surfaced right there at the shore. Ooh, that's a big old brook right there. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Ooh. All right. Well, I gave it a few tries. I even put on a fly in a bubble, but... Just no luck, they're surfacing all around my fly, but they don't want my fly. But those guys over there that are fly fishing, I've heard them bring in a few, so they're having some success, so that's good. Well, I'm gonna head on back towards camp because it's getting kind of late. Hopefully I can have some luck along the way. But I'm not gonna complain about the scenery because it's beautiful. I was just commenting. I've been off trail all day. Haven't seen any animals till now. But there they go. All right, I've made it back to Betsy. It's a big lake. Might as well just throw my line out there a few times and see if I can break the bad luck spell. Well, had a follower on every cast, but they're just not aggressive enough to attack the lure. So, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe they're a little bit overfished or something. They're just not interested. I mean, they... We'll follow it in, but that's about it. So, I guess we'll just have to keep trying. Well, all right, made it back to camp. <clears throat> 5.30, dinner time. I'm fishless. Need to get some food in me. And go change that down down at Granddaddy, but I gotta get caloried up. Looks like nobody disturbed the camp still here. Just the way I left it. Good deal. Well, all right. Looks like on the menu today is beef stroganoff. A peak refuel. Really good. So what's nice about these peak refuels is they take very little water, so three-quarter cup water to rehydrate this and I'll be in business so um, tired and hungry <laughs> had a long hard day off the trail discovering new lakes and new territory I'm fishless though so I need to go and chow this down and then go down there and hit granddaddy till dark and hopefully it'll be good to me so we got boil Like we got search and rescue or somebody up here. And be stroking off. Coke Zero. Fish or not, I'm celebrating. Successful day of seeing some beautiful lakes and some great reflections. Beautiful country. So that's a win-win right there. 
Well, I must say, that was the best 810 calories I had all day. And this was the best zero calories I had all day. Mm-mm. I'm ready to go fishing. Woo! All right. Finally, the spell has been broken. I had to come to my honey hole to finally catch a fish. Feels like a pretty good one. It's fighting pretty hard. Come on, come to Papa. Who we got here? No, it's not a monster. Just a little cutthroat. Yay! That's what we're talking about. First fish of the day. <laughs> hey, talking to me? Oh, you're a little slimy. Come on there, buggy. Just want to get a picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right there. Can be done. Because you're the first fish, I have got to kiss you and let you go. Let you go and let you grow. Oh yeah. Thank you. Whoop, 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 whoop. Raise the roof. All right, I've had a strike and a hit. Every time, six casts in and I finally landed a second here. So, heck yeah. What I really want is a brook trout. What do we got here this time? Oh. Oh, looks like I got a nice size cut. Heck yeah. A little bigger than the last one. I'm all tangled up. Anyway, not a bad, bad little cutthroat. Nice. Heck yeah, I'll take that. My luck's beginning to change. Alright, two more casts, two more strikes, and another hookup. Oh yeah. I'm asking myself why I hike 10 miles when I can just stand here and catch fish all day. <laughs> anyway. Well, that was the goal of this trip, was to explore a new area. Hopefully find another honey hole like this, but... This one always pays off for me. There for a minute I thought I was going to have to go home skunked at Granddaddy Basin. I'd be a first. Been up here lots. I've never been skunked. But, oh, that's a bigger one. God, they're getting bigger. Ooh, this is a dandy. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's a... That's a nice one right there. Look at that. Heck yeah. Another one on. Oh yeah, it's a fighter. Man. Oh, come on. It's another cup. Very feisty one. Slugger. Doesn't like being caught. <laughs> yeah, check that out. The honey hole is delivering. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, I'm about out of daylight. So the last one that didn't survive, I'm going to have to clean him up and have him over a campfire. All right, I got to start working my way back. It's getting dark. I got a fish to cook. And another. One right after another here. Oh, here's a jumper. Jumper and a fighter. Probably another, uh, yeah, another cutthroat. Okay, I'm going to try a couple more casts to get a brook, and then I got to get going back. 
still a nice, nice cut. He's squirming, trying to get away. He don't like his, his camera shy. All right, well that's a success story. I filtered water. Um, I got on the scoreboard. Um, this was every cast. I was getting a hit strike, hooking one. Uh, caught several, so that's awesome. Leave it up to the honey hole to save the day. The last hour of the last day. <laughs> I'm going to go cook this over the fire. Oh, yeah. It's got the nice pink meat, too. It's going to be yummy. And then... Uh, just have a nice chill around the fire and think about all this wonderful country that I saw today. Oh God, look at that little bit of sun right up on that ridge line. That is awesome. Anyway, headed back to camp before it gets dark. So it was a helicopter, probably doing a rescue mission. Well, all right, let's prep this before it gets dark on us and then we'll get the fire going. Ingredients, fresh trout, freeze-dried butter, and lemon pepper. So, let's go ahead and get a little bit of butter on there. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Get a little bit more butter on there. All right. Then, Get some lemon pepper. Open up the inside where all the good stuff is. Sprinkle in some lemon pepper. Spread it in there real good. Oh yeah. And then put a little bit more on the outside. And roll it over. Put a little more there. All right, now we just got to cook it up. So I'm gonna finish rolling it up in foil first, and then I got some more foil. I'll double wrap it, and it'll be good. Put those ends in to keep the juices all inside. Fold these in like this. Oh yeah. Okay, that's ready. We'll double wrap it to make sure the juices stay inside. We're good to go. All right, I'm gonna go start the fire now. All right, I got one of Christie's fire starters. It's part of an egg carton, filled with lint and then covered with wax. Supposed to burn for like 15 minutes. So I can throw that in the fire pit there and then go grab some wood and throw on it. See how it works. It's kind of like a candle. Okay, and we'll get some wood put on there. Give me a little little 
bridge to put them on so I don't smother the flame. These fire starters are easy to make. Make it with your dryer lint. An old egg carton, you're good to go. All right, fire is good enough to cook a fish. I'm gonna set this fish right up on top there. It's gonna cook fast. You can regulate the heat by putting those logs together a little bit closer so that less heat comes between them. Yeah, that'll work out good. I'll just do that for a few minutes each side and it should be ready to go. Fresh fish over the fire in the back country. Heck yeah. All right, I can hear it sizzling. It's been about three minutes. I'm gonna roll it over and let it sizzle on the other side. I need my redneck turners right here. Time to pull it out of fire. I don't want it to burn, I just want it to get cooked. So, hopefully, that's not too much. We'll open it up and find out. One good thing about tin foil, it cools off quick. So you can handle it with your fingers. Perfection. The tail's burnt, but we're not gonna eat the tail. All right, let's get out the fork and see what it looks like. What you do is you peel the skin back. Make your fork. Oh yeah, see that peels back just nicely. Oh yeah. Mmm. And then you can jam your fork in here like this, right at that line, and pull off the meat. It's cooked to perfection. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. I'm going to eat it. All right, that fish was fantastic. I'm just going to stand here and enjoy the fire for a little bit, let it die down, and then turn in for the night. I'll probably get up early uh, and pack up and head on out of here. It's been a great trip. Saw some beautiful lakes, awesome reflections, quite a few salamander ponds, but uh, the granddaddy honey hole saved the day for catching fish. So. At least I didn't have to go home saying I got skunked to granddaddy because that would have been a first. So, but anyway, it was a great trip all around. It was a little, a little discouraging most of the day with the fishing, but the scenery was fantastic. So, uh, the only thing that would make this trip better was to have Christy here, but she's home spending some time with the daughter and watching Harry Potter a marathon. <laughs> so, anyway. It's been a good day. It's going to be a good night. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. It doesn't feel as cold tonight as it did last night, so hopefully it won't be as bad. Anyway, good night. Good morning to day three. This is pack up and head out day. It's 
So I already dismantled the fire pit. Um, show you what that looks like. Uh, looks like I'm up before the sun, so hopefully I can <clears throat> get on the trail to climb that short little pass section there without too much heat in the day. Anyway, it's been a good trip. Uh, excited to get home to the family and anyway, uh, I did manage to grab that bridle from that other camp. I'm going to haul it back to the trailhead where the horse trailers are <clears throat> all uh, stationed there. So hopefully uh, whoever owns that will be able to retrieve it. I don't know of any other way to get it to them. It's not going to last here in the winter. So I've got to get it out to the trailhead so somebody can acquire it or get it back. So anyway, getting ready to pack up, have breakfast, and head on out. All right, well, there's the fire pit area. Fire has been put out and buried. And forest vegetation strewn about, so it looks pretty natural. <clears throat> so leave no trace. All right, looks like water's done boiling. <clears throat> Poured in there from the hot beverage. Just a bunch of instant packets in there, so I gotta <clears throat> partially fill it. Shake it up so it mixes in real good. And top it off. And save enough room for cold water to cool it down so I can drink it. And then for breakfast I got uh, cinnamon and spice oatmeal. Put it in my collapsible bowl. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> no, it's just easy. <clears throat> get a little spoon. Get the rest of that hot water in there. That's about right. Don't want it too runny, but you don't want it pasty either. So if you fill it up about there, maybe a little more, it turns out just right. All right, well, we'll let that soak up the water. And we got a little forest in there. Don't want to eat the forest. Okay. I'm making a mess. I don't know if that was a burnt oat or piece of pine needle. All right, well, I'm going to finish up breakfast, get packed up, head on out of here. All right, well, that's a wrap for Granddaddy Camp 2023. I don't think I'll be up here again before the snow flies, so it'll be next season before I get in here. Hopefully all those fish that I didn't catch will just get bigger for next year. Anyway, Working my way back to the off trail to the main trail. Uh, and then I can get heading back to the trailhead. It's been a great trip overall. And excited for the next adventure. All right, I'm going to hit the trail. Let the off trail adventure begin. This isn't too bad. I've done this trip many, 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 many times. Just a little bit of debris here in the beginning, but then it's game trails most of the way back. To the main trail. Anyway, I'm just making my way back <clears throat> to the main trail. I got the hard part of the bushwhack done. Now I'm almost to the main trail. And it should be easy going from there. 
and there's Heart Lake. Pretty. And right up there is Hades Pass. And it's all downhill from there. All right, after 20 minute climb, I'm back on trail and at Hades Pass, I'm ready for the downhill. But yeah, I just have to take a look at this reflection one more time. It's just amazing. All right, looks like somebody dropped their bag. All the footprints in the trail are leading down, so I'm assuming they're headed down. So I'm going to carry it down. I don't think anybody's going up today. Anyway, hopefully it'll find its owner. Well, it looks like somebody's having some pack failures or something. Because garage sale. All right, here's the chair. Guess I'll carry it down too. Dang. I think I figured out what's going on here. They got tired of carrying it. And they knew there was a pack mule on the trail. Me. I got the bridle hanging off the back to prove it. Anyway, they wanted somebody else to carry their gear out. They're sitting down at the trailhead waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. After carrying this for a quarter mile, I can see why they left it. Because <laughs> it's heavy. My arm is... I got dead arm carrying it. Anyway. We'll get it down to the trailhead and if they're hanging around, hopefully they'll get it. If not, they forgot. They make a return trip to the trailhead. It'll be there waiting for them. Anyway, I'm gonna continue on down, just about down. I'm about an hour on the trail and I'm almost back. So it was a quick return. So It looks like my little waterfall is flowing. That's nice. Another little trickle over here. Well, all right, well, there's a bunch of raspberries. Holy cow, ripe. And I don't mind if I do. Delicious. All right, I've made it back to the trailhead. I'm going to go deposit the lost and found at the trailhead here under the roof in case it rains. And then uh, hopefully the lost and found will find its owner. Uh, I see that there's horse trailers still up at the horse camp area. So I'll deposit the bridle there. Anyway, it's a good trip. Ready to head home. Catch you on the next adventure. Well, if you're lost, stay put. There you go. There's your gear. It's lost. It's going to stay put there. Hopefully, somebody will find it. All right, there's a lot of trucks and trailers here for horses. There's the trailhead sign for the horse camp and the register for the horse camp. So, that's where I left the bridle. Hopefully, somebody will see that. And if they're the last truck out of here, well, congrats. You got yourself a bridle. Anyway, it's a good trip. Hopefully that bridle finds its owner. All right, took me an hour and 20 minutes to hike down. And look what's waiting for me. <laughs> Ice cold, Coke Zero for the road, heck yeah. Oh wow, looks like fall is here in the high country. That is beautiful. <laughs> 